Miranda here. So um, one thing we've been doing a lot of recently is buying furniture. Um, we're in the process of needing to furnish our third floor and so um, rather than buying new furniture for the third floor that we'll barely see, we've opted to buy new furniture for ourselves for our bedroom and then moving our furniture upstairs that we currently have. And so um, that has put me on the hunt for some cool mid-century stuff to mix in with some of the other stuff that we've picked out. And so um, one thing that I've been wanting to do for a long time is actually to investigate some of the really high quality replica furniture that is supposedly on the internet. And um, so what we decided to pick up were a couple pieces of Rove Concepts. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, we have our womb chair coming tomorrow, um, but today we got a fiberglass upholstered Eames chair. And so um, just wanted to show the quality and what it looks like. I just pulled it out of the box. Um, in the struggle to looking for some of these pieces in a replica form, um, I just realized that a lot of the reviews that were online were either by the manufacturer themselves and in that sense aren't really true to what they might actually be, um, and that there just wasn't a lot of resources for what these things actually look like in person. So I figured I would just plop a video on the internet quick um, and show people what it looks like. So, so this is the fiberglass upholstered Eames uh, dining chair that's on Rove Concepts website. Um, I just pulled it out of the box. Here's the box. So this is how it came. Um, it's got the Rogue Concept logo on the side. Um, it was delivered by FedEx and it was really simply packaged. There were just these corner styrofoam pieces in each corner of the box. The chair was sitting in the middle with a couple more foam pieces on it and a bag that um, covered the box or that covered the chair inside the box. So um, pretty light in terms of um, packaging. So not particularly safe, but this particular piece I don't think is very fragile, so maybe not really necessary. But so here's the chair. Um, first impressions are actually it looks really nice. Um, the legs, all the hardware seems to be nice and clean, pretty durable, not a lot of flex to it. Um, the way stuff kind of fits together seems pretty intentional. Um, it's got these little clear feet on the bottom that look pretty nice. Um, some of the fit of the feet are a little wonky, so maybe I can show that a little better. So you can kind of see like maybe that aspect of it's a little weird, but it feels stable and it, it grips the floor good, so it's not going anywhere. Um, the material itself appears to be stitched really nice. Um, it's listed as a cashmere wool, uh, you know, felt upholstery and First impressions are that actually the, the material itself is really soft. Um, the fit and finish along the edge, this is actually me looking at it for the first time, is um, pretty good. I would say some of the only things I noticed right off the bat, um, if I can get it to focus, you can kind of see maybe this kind of scratchy edge along the white fiberglass. Um, that's like the first thing I kind of noticed about this. Um, as far as the, ooh, focus, focus. Um, let's see other things. The stitching itself looks pretty good. It's nice and fitted. It um, seems to be stitched pretty consistently and well. There's not like weird bulges to it. It actually fits the, the frame of the chair quite nice. Let me keep turning this and see if I notice anything else. Um, yeah, overall I'm kind of, I mean, it's an expensive chair. I mean, you can get a chair that looks just like this for like, 30 or 45 bucks, but to get one that's actually fiberglass and not plastic, um, you end up you know, paying a lot more if you can find one at all. This is one of the only ones I know of that is fiberglass and upholstered, um, which is what I was looking for for my desk upstairs. Um, so, you know, this is a, uh, I believe I paid like 270 ish for this chair. Um, they had like a 15% discount and the chair was on sale, but like that's also, they always have a 15% discount, it seems, on their website. So um, costs of shipping were pretty extreme, I would say, considering how poorly that box was packed and the fact that it didn't require any signature or anything. Um, it was like $125 or something to ship this, which basically with the 15% discount that they have on their website just meant that it was free shipping and no actual discount on the product, which I'm sure is sort of part of their strategy. Um, let's see. I think the last thing I'll do is just tip it on its back. 
so that you can see the bottom. Let's see, so see the bottom here, nice and clean and shiny. All the brackets line up really nice. Um, I'll flip my camera over so that you can read this because it's upside down for me. Um, it says designed in Denmark, materials sourced globally, made in China. Um, so overall, I'd say I'm impressed. Uh, in the quality, granted it is like a $300 chair, so quality I would expect should be good. Um, I'm definitely more interested in seeing how the um, wound chair looks tomorrow. So I'll make another video when that arrives and um, you can see how that looks. But overall I'm pretty satisfied with this. There was nobody out there making an, a, a nice upholstered Eames chair replica. And so, you know, if I were to go to Herman Miller and try and buy this chair, it would probably be like, <laughs> like a thousand dollar chair or something ridiculous, maybe more. So the fact that I could pick up something like this that is really, really nice quality and only for like 300 bucks that I'm going to have for, you know, the rest of my life, I'd say that's, that's pretty reasonable. I'm willing to pay that kind of money for a nice piece of furniture that I'll have for a long time. Um, so yeah, this is it. I'll do maybe a couple more kind of zoom in so you guys can see some details. Um, if I can get some light on the legs, you guys can see like the color of the wood. It's nice. And uh, you know, the felt, it's like a, I would say it's like a 40 or 50% gray felt. Nice color, pretty true to the website. Um, the white is very white. I was kind of expecting there to be more fiberglass visible texture, which I don't really see here. So um, it really just looks like it might even be, well, I guess it's not painted, but it looks just very glossy white. And um, the weight of the chair is pretty substantial compared to the plastic, like cheaper Amazon ones that I have. Um, you know, I'm not sure exactly how much it weighs. I'm sure the box probably says. Looks like it weighs about eight kilograms. So, you know, put that on a scale and smoke it. But yeah, there it is in all its glory. My next video I'll post will be once we get the womb chair, which I'm very excited about. And uh, I think that's it. So thanks for checking it out with me. To anyone else who's been interested in Rove Concept stuff, um, yeah, so far this looks pretty good to me. I mean, it's not cheap. It's still an expensive chair, but I think in terms of what I paid, the quality I'm getting back is really good and comparable to what I'm paying. So um, a lot better in my opinion than some of these Herman Miller prices and Knoll prices that just seem really extreme given the intent of the designer to make these sort of ubiquitous design pieces. So um, yeah, I think that's all. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave a comment. And yeah, I guess that's it. Next up, womb chair.